Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the desert on a small island just east of Cannibal's Rest, sitting in the middle of the river in the transition between the desert and the jungle, building a fishing hamlet. This build was suggested quite a while ago now by Confidential, so thank you very much for the suggestion. Before I explain the build a little bit, I should explain that this build was meant to be uploaded last night, in keeping with, of course, the schedule. However, due to some technical issues, I didn't manage to actually post this video last night, hence why you're seeing it now instead. I haven't missed an upload since around about February, I think, so feels pretty bad to have missed this one. Nevertheless, I hope you do all enjoy. This build is designed to be a nice little fishing hamlet, mixing stone brick, wood and terrarium to fit the atmosphere of the area, and to make this village feel a little bit more upper class. This turned out to be quite a nice little build, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to start off with the base plate. I cleared the area of trees and rocks and placed foundations to stop them respawning, then building out the rough blueprint of the streets of the hamlet, removing the Erin's foundations as I went. I'm using stone brick for the roads and wooden foundations for the floors of the houses. I could have just sat the houses down on the ground, but I kind of wanted everything to be level and somewhat structured. The village will have three distinct sectors. The area closest to the village gate will be the residential homes for between one and two residents each. The middle section around the central statue will be commercial with stores and workshops. And the final area towards the end of the hamlet being the place of worship. On the east side of the island, there will be a few piers extending out from the hamlet where residents can fish using rods. On the west side there will be access to the actual shore of the beach itself, and this will be the trapping area, where fish can be caught with the more passive traps.
Next for building the houses and stores. I started in the residential districts building houses of varying sizes, with the houses ending up either rectangular or square, though the much longer rectangular buildings I eventually cut in half down the middle, creating two houses from one, leaving the houses mostly square and mostly the same layout inside. These houses are suited quite well to either one or two residents. I built the houses two tiles high, then building a flat roof, roof gables and then the roof itself, which usually ended up with a flat apex roof finished with wall caps and rooftop pieces. Next I moved to the commercial district, building four large stores around the central platform I built earlier. I built the stores two tiles high, again building roofing atop the structures using roof gables and an intersecting roof design atop each store. Some of the stores ended up longer in the customer serving area and some longer in the back room depending upon the purpose of that build.
Finally, I built the place of worship at the back of the build. This is a pretty simple structure though in retrospect, it might have actually worked better to have this section open air, or at least partially open, as I feel this ends up being the weakest part of the build overall, and having the place of worship being an open air design suits both this village and the themes of the chosen god Jebel Sag. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've placed some stables outside the build and lit the streets of the hamlet with terranium wall lamps, which provides a nice warm lighting that suits the area and material choices. Each of the houses is designed in a similar way, designed to be small yet practical households for the humble residents of this hamlet. As I mentioned, most of the houses are small and probably could be made larger if you wanted to, but I do kind of like how the houses look in this setting. On the eastern side of the build are the piers I mentioned earlier, placed to catch the main flow of the river going south. Heading into the commercial district, there are four different stores within this area, two being more customer centric and the other two being more service focused. On the closest side to the residential build, we have two customer centric builds, with those being both the general store on the left and the tavern on the right. I do really, really like how the tavern came out, but I think the general store is a bit weak and could definitely be improved either with mods or just a bit more diligent decoration to be honest. On the far side of the commercial district is the blacksmithery and the fishmongers workshops, providing valuable services to the hamlet and its residents.
On the western shore is the trapping area I mentioned earlier, where smaller fish and shellfish are caught passively through the use of traps. Finally, the place of worship. As I said earlier, this is probably the weakest part of the build for me, and in retrospect I wish I would have just left it open air really. And there we have it, a fishing hamlet in the desert, just east of Cannibal's Rise. Thanks for watching and thanks again to Confidential for the suggestion, I actually really quite enjoyed making this build. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel the link to my Patreon is also in the description below, with various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Code and Exiles videos coming over Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.